Um, you know, Sipsi Coast opened for the first time in 1995. Uh, so this is a reopening, a rediscovery. Uh, as you uh, enter, you'll see a few of the design touches um, that make us look a little more like the times era of Mary Poppins. Um, and our chef uh, has concentrated on Florida flavors. So as you go around, the servers will tell you a little bit about some of the flavors that we are putting on the menu right now. <laughs> Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you. The reimagined Citricos. So I think it was we already gave you the whole story, so I'm up in it. So yes, uh, we're very proud of the team here. Uh, Chef Andy Mendoza is uh, in charge of the menu and the creation of uh, all the food items. Along with Chef Christine Farmer, which is the pastry chef of the Grand Fortune Resort and Spa. She also created all the desserts specifically for this restaurant, so you'll see some of those specialty items today, as well as taste them. She's also responsible for many things within the resort. She does all the breads and all the desserts for the entire property, along with the gingerbread house. So I'll just throw that back for the future. We are in the new Citricos right. restaurant here with Chef Scott Hunnell. And um, the uh, first question is, what is the theme of the restaurant? Now, uh, we have the decor, which has a new Mary Poppins vibe going on. You answered the first question okay. right there. See, you were paying attention. Okay. You got this. But it's not, it's not just pure Mary Poppins. It's pure uh, Mary Poppins, but it really has a nice Parisian kind of Mediterranean flair to the restaurant, too. Okay. Hence the name Citricos. Okay. Being, you know, Floridian. Wait a minute, am I answering the <laughs> question? I'm going into the next question. Floridian cuisine with Mediterranean influences. Being at the Grand Floridian, being in Florida, we want to encompass some of those fantastic ingredients we have there in the state. Yeah, and some of the ingredients here featured are local to Florida. Uh, I know correct. three in particular. Uh, I had some strawberries, and those tasted well, like those could have been from Plant City. We maybe. try to get our, when they're in okay. season, we get them from Plant City as okay. well. We get some of the blueberries from the local markets as well. All right. We use uh, some of the farmers uh, in Lake Meadows out in the Koi as well. Uh, the seafood, the Colombia, we capture off the coast of Atlanta, going all the way from the Carolinas down to the Keys, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the shrimp. Excellent. We generally get that Key, uh, key West yes, shrimp. shrimp. You notice that'd be on the menu. So. Nice. And we're the only restaurant here at Florida and uh, Walt Disney World serving the Key West shrimp, as well as the tile fish. Good to know. Yes. Good to know. So, um, with all the changes of the restaurant, was there any consideration to changing the name? Why uh, stick with the name Citricos when there have been so many changes to the menu and the, the Well, decor. I think the citru Citricos really fits it fits the bill because again it's it's citrus mm -hmm. so from Spain so we want and you know we're mm -hmm. in Florida and we got a lot of orange so you'll see that uh, emphasized throughout the course of the menu you have the flan which is all focused on the orange mm -hmm. so we really like we really thought about it and I think you know sticking with the Mediterranean citrus name really works with us very well of course, with Mary Poppins, you have to do something about Mary Poppins. So this one is uh, the purple penguin. This one will be the more uh, children driven. Um, and uh, the, it's going to have a little bit of pineapple. Uh, it's going to have also uh, a peach reduction, uh, a little bit of uh, grenadine, and uh, a lavender. lavender. So, um, so as you uh, taste the menu and come back, uh, just taste some of the drinks.